Okay, well, welcome back, y'all. Welcome in, welcome in. My name is Danny. Welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching episode seven of season two of Bridgerton. What episode is this called? It's called Harmony. Wait, that's that's that. Ooh, the title of this one, Harmony. I feel like that says a lot. That says a lot. That says a lot. I'm hoping they're going to develop. Um, Kate and Anthony a little bit more, especially since last episode. <sighs> oh my god, they're finally gonna get together. They're finally gonna get together. Seven hours later. <laughs> After like seven hours, we're finally gonna see it. We're finally gonna see it. I'm so excited. So excited, so excited. But I hope y'all enjoyed this one. Please give it a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy. Let's hit it. Let's just get straight on in. I'm so excited. So excited. I love this season. I just, I'm so in shock, honestly, of how much I love this season, but let's get in, let's get in. I'm so excited. I don't know how this is gonna end. I do not know how this is gonna end. Like at this point, it can go either way, like. <laughs> Explanations of why Miss Edwina absconded from the altar may be greater in number than anyone could possibly fathom. I was gonna ask, I was like, wait, does Lady Whistledown know why Edwina just left? I'd have been like, wait, how did she know that? <laughs> but no, I don't think she knows. It's all just gossip. As well as most of the Sharmas and Bridgertons, that an official explanation emerges swiftly. Okay, yeah, she don't know. Yeah, she don't know. It's just gossip. <laughs> it's all just gossip and rumors. I do wonder how um, Edwina and Kate's relationship is gonna develop after this, cause... <laughs> It was so messy. This season's so messy. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Girl, you better go see your man. <laughs> you dream about him. You dreaming about him. You might as well go see him at this point. I'm finished. Yikes. <laughs> That's pretty embarrassing. Mom, why don't you like get in there and say something? Like, I know Edwina's mad and I know Kate is feeling really bad, but <sighs> I just, I don't want the sisters to be mad at each other. I don't want Edwina to be mad at Kate about this. I just want them to make up because I love Edwina and I love Kate. <laughs> I want them to, both to be happy. We act swiftly to Limit the damaging consequences of the unfortunate events of your bungled nuptials. Is all of this truly happening because a woman merely changed her mind? No, okay. Eloise is so right. I'm sorry, like... She just changed her mind and now all of a sudden the whole family is like... Shunned. I'm like... Y'all taking this so seriously. I know that's like a product of the time, but... I just think that's so stupid. I think that's so stupid and I'm so glad we're like way past that, at least in my life. At least I know, <laughs> more or less, like we're kind of past that, but I know some places ain't like that. Still, I know some places not like that, but. I shall be a little late shopping. I need to use a pair of gloves so as to look that much more united and respectable. Hmm. She going to go see her man, bye. Eloise, you are not slick. Is nobody gonna ask her, like, what she's doing? <laughs> like, her little handmaid just asked, just um, told Pen what she was doing, so. Uh oh. Miss Bridgerton. <gasps> Don't tell me the queen thinks it's Eloise. See, from the last episode, I knew it. I knew it. this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be so bad. Well, good day, Lord Five. For some of us. Uh, everybody's so mean now. See, in situations like this, it sucks because it's like you literally have to like move away. <laughs> and even then the rumors will follow you. Like, this is absolutely horrible. This is absolutely horrible. This gossip, I could not live in this. I could not live in this time period. I can't. 
it's too small <laughs> like this all this ton stuff it's a small world it's a very small world and word gets around too much and i'm like no i i mm -mm. it was a pleasant afternoon you yes indeed my lord my dear i believe we will be late for the borings make haste nobody even wants to talk to them like <laughs> why i hate it here <laughs> truly and honestly i hate it here what were you doing visiting that printer shop in the middle of your brother's so-called wedding? Now she coming straight out with it. Oh, I know it is you. <gasps> oh, no. Ma'am, you got it all wrong. You got it all wrong. She was literally trying to help her find Lady Whistledown in the last season, wasn't she? So... Is it not curious that you were so rarely mentioned in those pages? I also hear you have a great distaste for society. Just as the writer herself does. I mean, just because, okay. Just because, she, like, she has a distaste for society doesn't mean that she's Lady Whistledown. Like, they just share the same sentiments. And I'm pretty sure there's probably other women that feel the same way, not just her. Like, okay. That, that was stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a stupid little uh, clue, I guess. Whatever. I would gladly help man, but I will be no such power, I assure you. So, you would rather be my rival? She does not listen. The queen does not listen at all. Like, girl, I'm telling you, I'm not Lady Whistledown. I'm flat out just telling you I'm not Lady Whistledown. Like, why, why are we doing this? Eloise, speak up. <laughs> speak up for yourself. I know you're scared and everything, but girl, you got to speak up for yourself because... Queenie about to kill you for real. Like it's not it's not looking good for you, Miss Eloise. My sister. Mm -mm. Lord Cho. Damn. Nobody even wants to talk to Lady Danbury. That's surprising. That's actually wild. That's wild, mate. I hate it here. I hate it for both the families, cause. Just because she ran off doesn't mean, like, they should be shunned. You really hate to see it. Another ball. So that the ton might inspect this wreckage with an even closer eye. Right. I was literally going to say that. I'm like, okay, y'all want to have a ball? So that people can easily figure out what's going on? Like... That's not exactly smart, but okay. <laughs> I mean, they can't just leave, obviously, but a ball? Hmm. And they talk about trying to find Edwina another suitor. There is no other man that's going to want her. I'm so sorry. I just have to say it. There's no other man that's going to want her. And as sad as that is, you can't deny the truth. You can't deny the truth. I'm sorry. Especially not like in this time, for sure. Like she's not, no. They gonna think she's used goods, which sucks. I hate that for her. My apologies. <laughs> Not they getting closer. Nacho getting closer in front of Edwina. <laughs> oh my god. She said, was I truly that blind? Yes. Honestly, yeah, girl. Honestly, yeah, you were. <laughs> They've made it way too easy. Way too easy to figure out. Do you need me to admit I made a mistake? Is that what you want? For me to tell you that I never should have asked Miss Edwina for a hand, that I never should have taken things this far. I realize. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he definitely knows that, but I mean, what else could he do? He's putting so much pressure on himself to be the head of the household. So it's like, what, literally, what else could he have done? Truly and honestly, I was saying this before, I'm like, oh, he could just not marry Edwina, but it's really not that simple. It's really not that simple, especially not in this time period. If this plan will work, I'm quite certain both you and Lady Dunbury will make sure of it. This is actually really sad. I kind of feel so bad. I feel so bad for him. <laughs> I just feel so bad for everybody in these situations because it's like, dang. Like, they can't do anything about their situations. Because that's just how society goes. 
That's literally just how society is. And nobody, literally nobody can change it. We must implore her to listen to reason. Oh, yes, because Her Majesty has always been so reasonable. But why would the Queen think it is you? Uh, yes, you are outspoken and opinionated and- One of her footmen saw me visiting with Theo. I know. I should have listened to you. Yeah, you should have listened to her, honestly. Because now look at the situation that you're in. I feel like, um, Pan is gonna blurt out that she's Lady Whistledown. She's gonna blurt it out, I know it. Pan, you know what you gotta do. <laughs> I'm like, Pen, you know what you gotta do, girl. You gotta save your friend, because this is your fault. <laughs> this is partly your fault. That was not part of our agreement. Our businesses both reap substantial rewards. You understood our arrangement came with risks. Yes, but that did not involve the Queen of England. Honestly, she did not sign up for that. Also, she signed up to be part of the job, but she did not sign up to be outed with the Queen. Like... That is that is a lot more than she wanted. I'm so sorry. That's a lot more than I than I know I would deal with. Were you to write something about Miss Eloise, she would never write about herself. I do not need to tell you what that might make the Queen believe. I mean, okay. Her writing about her friend or er, in the Queen's eyes, like Eloise writing about herself as Lady Whistledown, I don't know if that plan would work. Honestly, I don't know if that plan will work because, I mean, the queen said in the carriage, like, oh, I've never seen your name in Lady Whistledown. Wouldn't that be like a clue? Like, wouldn't that kind of ruin the whole thing? Is it me? <laughs> I'm just like, is it me? Because I feel like that would not work as well as they think it would, honestly. And now that I'm thinking about it, she's probably going to write about Theo. Or visiting Theo. <gasps> Wait, that's gonna be so bad. No, Pen shouldn't write about that. That's gonna be so wrong. Cause Pen is the only one that knows about that. Yikes. Okay, so maybe that's how um, Pen being Lady Whistledown comes out to Eloise. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. This is gonna be so messy. <laughs> this is gonna be so messy. These last few episodes? Yeah, these last few episodes are getting good. Hey yo, what the fuck? Wait, now he's smelling her. <laughs> now he's smelling her as she walks away. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of cute, but <laughs> can't even lie. That was kind of cute, but bro, you gotta you gotta be less obvious. <laughs> oh my god, that was great. <laughs> I wish they could just get together, but that would that was result in scandal. So, cause nobody wants scandal, I guess. Whatever. Why y'all looking at me? Jesus. Can we just mind our business? So the wedding's off. Whatever. Jesus. Stop talking about me. I hate that. I hate this. <laughs> I hate this so much, man. Master print is gone for the day. It is not printing I wish to solicit. <sighs> Eloise. You really haven't got any brains at all, have you, son? Did Penelope not just say not to go out and meet him? Did she not just say that? And now she's out here meeting her man. How stupid do you have to be? I'm so sorry. I love, listen, I love Eloise, but girl... Now is not the time to be doing risky stuff. Like, I'm so sorry. She literally just told you not to go over there like a day ago. <laughs> she told you that yesterday, girl. <laughs> and here you are. Kind of hoping she do get caught, though. Loki hoping she do get caught because she's stupid right now. She's looking very unfamiliar. She's looking very unfamiliar. Did you mind? See, he knows. He literally knows. Like, girl, why are you here? Not even a little excited to see me then. People from the palace have been asking about me. Not people from the palace have been asking. 
Are you serious? She's so stupid. I'm so sorry. I love Eloise. Girl, I love you. You're my sister. I love you, but girl, this is not the time. This is not the time for this. She couldn't have waited until the next um, Lady Whistledown issue. She couldn't have waited another few days. Like, okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever, listen. It's all for love, I guess. The Queen, she... She saw me visiting you the other day and now believes me to be Lady Wizardown herself. Ridiculous, yes? What is ridiculous is the fact that you thought it wise to come back here again. <laughs> hey, hold on, this shit ain't funny. It ain't funny, but it is. Exactly. Exact. I'm so sorry. He's reading her. He's re I have to keep pausing. I'm sorry. He's literally reading her like, girl, why would you come back knowing that the queen is on your toes? Like, she's supposed to be the smart one. <laughs> she's supposed to be the smart one. What happened? Literally what happened? What is that supposed to mean? It means that you are a lady who has never had to endure any real difficulties in your life. You may have the protection of your family, of your society, but I'm... Honestly, though, he's kind of right. Like, if he gets caught, he might get killed. Honestly, though, he's going to get fired. He's probably going to get killed by the queen, like, for conspiring with Lady Whistledown. Like, girl, you did not think. You did not rub your two brain cells together. I'm so sorry. You saw up and Mama how happy they once were. What I saw is how even that ended in tragedy. Happy endings do not exist. Kate. Damn. She is so jaded from this. That's so sad. She's so jaded. I hate that. I really hate that for Edwina. Honestly, I wonder if Kay had just told her from the beginning that she was in love with Anthony, how the story would have changed. See, ugh, I gotta read the books now. This makes me want to read the books, honestly. Oh, on the contrary. Well, I myself am hosting a ball later this week. I will see if there is still room. We shall have a full house, no doubt. There ain't gonna be nobody at that party. It's gonna be empty. <laughs> you really hate to see it too. You make a compelling case, Bridgerton. Uh, allow me to give it some consideration. I shall eagerly await your response. The rest of the ton is dazzled by your exploits. I only wish to be too. Would you see me out? I really want Colin to like propose to her. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I need to see them together. Cause I feel like, I definitely think he knows that she likes him. Like, come on now. It's so obvious. I'm going to confess. What? I shall find a printer, publish a counterfeit paper, and give Her Majesty exactly what she wants. Wait, what? Okay, so maybe this is the moment that Penn just like blurts out that she's Lady Whistledown. Cause I don't know what El I do not know what Eloise's plan is here. <laughs> I don't know what she thinks she's gonna get out of this, but I have made my decision. At the very least, it will allow me a little more time to finally find the real writer and make her pay for all of her crimes. Make her pay for all her crimes? What do you mean? What? Girl, this is not your fault. Well, I mean, it kind of is because you went off and saw Theo. I don't know how many times. Okay, so this, she didn't, Penn didn't say to Eloise that she was Lady Whistledown. Maybe she'll do it later in the episode. I just, I feel like she's going to do it. <laughs> I feel it in my bones. I don't know. This author has it on very good authority that the Viscount's failed nuptials may not be the only... Eloise is ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Like, I don't know what she expects to get out of this little plan that she's doing, but this is not smart. And ain't nobody here at this little party. I knew it. <laughs> I knew nobody would be there. That's sad. I know the Sharmas are coming though. There they go. Period. Ain't nobody here though. <laughs> That's so sad. Their entire family has been shunned. They shall be dancing. <laughs> dancing just with the two families. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Embarrassing, embarrassing, embarrassing. That's so sweet that Anthony is doing this for everybody. That is so sweet. <laughs> He's trying to liven up this party, period. How cute. This is the cutest thing ever. 
they're just gonna have fun uh watch i bet um kate and anthony are gonna get paired up in the dance together at some point and it's gonna be awkward <laughs> See, they're feared out. Aw. How cute is that? Okay, y'all getting a little too close now. Y'all getting a little too close now. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Mm-mm. The wound is still fresh for Edwina. The wound is still fresh. Then Miss Eloise Bridgerton has certainly made a dangerous, perhaps ruinous one, for she's apparently been associating unchaperoned with improper company. Oh, Penn is so wrong. Penn is so wrong. <laughs> Penn is so wrong for publishing this. I thought, or isn't this, um, I thought Eloise had an article coming out. I mean, we don't know what she wrote though. That's the thing. This is so, oh, this is messy. <laughs> Eloise finally got her own little paper. Dang. See, the whole Bridgerton family just messy. Messy, 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 messy. Messy boots. I would be so sick. Honestly, I would be so sick if my mess got out there like this. Absolutely not. <laughs> Y'all not gonna do that to me. <laughs> Y'all are not gonna do that to me, I swear. As one makes one's bed, so one must lie in it. Yeah, that was pens. Dang, that was pens. She's so sick. <laughs> She's so sick for this. I may not know who I truly am, but at least I know I am kinder hearted than you. Damn. Edwina is never gonna let Kate live this one down. And I get why. I'm like, ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's bad for my sister. It is bad for my sister. And I do not listen. Oh, oh, I shall never listen to you or to anyone I wholeheartedly disagree with. Ooh, not this little fight. Oh my God. <laughs> this is messy. I keep saying that. This whole season is just mess. Like, <laughs> I don't know what else I'm expecting. And yet still, all I find myself thinking about, all I find myself being able to breathe for is you. I knew he'd say that. I knew he'd say that. This is so cute. Please get out of my face. I hate it here. <laughs> this is so cute. They built up their relationship very well, I feel like. Even though it took six episodes to get them to kiss, which pissed me off, I feel like they're developing this very well. I'm a gentleman. And you were a lady of that, of that scent. Now he's sniffing her. <laughs> now he's sniffing her. Good lord. He is so in love with her. You really love to see it, too. <laughs> as much as I feel bad for um, Edwina, I'm so sorry. Kate and Anthony are just in game. They're, they're just, they're just in game. I, 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 I can't say anything else. Before what? Before we both finally do something for ourselves? Oh, he kind of gagged her. <laughs> he kind of gagged her there. <laughs> I want them to get together. Like, this is not... Period. Exactly. Exactly. You really love to see it, too. I love it here. <laughs> I love it here. I hope no... Nobody better interrupt, I swear to God. I swear to God, nobody better interrupt. This is what I've been wanting since the beginning. Truly and honestly. Now she gone. <laughs> now she gone. Oh Lord. If anybody ever finds out about this, <laughs> Their whole family, their, both their families are going to be shunned, <laughs> shunned to the end of the earth. Oh, not his, wait, not the family ring. Is he going to propose to her? <gasps> oh my 
my god, he ran in the rain. I'm afraid that is not possible, my lord. She does not seem to be here. One of the horses is gone too. Wait, now she gone. Are you serious? Now she running away in the rain. <laughs> He's gonna propose to her. I'm gonna cry. This is only episode seven. <laughs> What's gonna happen in the next one? <laughs> Good lord. Go ahead, Anthony, get your girl. Get your girl, Anthony, exactly. Exactly, exactly, exactly. This is great. <laughs> this is great, I love this. So far, this is a really good episode, actually. This is like, this is either my first favorite or second. Second to episode six. Go over there and help her. <laughs> Why? Don't just stand there, bro. Go over there and help your girl. Help your future wife. <gasps> That's how they end the episode. I know they did not just end the episode like that. Are you serious? This is disgusting. I was not expecting the end of the episode already. <laughs> I was not expecting the end of the episode already. Jesus Christ. Okay, well. I guess that's that one. Jesus. Now we're on episode eight. We already almost done with the season. Good lord. That was messy. <laughs> that was messy. And that was honestly everything that I wanted. Truly and honestly. I'm still wondering how the whole Lady Whistledown situation is going to happen. I'm going to go. I still don't know if Pan is going to tell Eloise. I feel like she should. <laughs> At this point, like, it's, it's bad. It's bad for Penn and Eloise, but we shall see in the next episode. Hope y'all enjoyed this one. This was so great. This show is so excellent. I hope y'all enjoyed this though. This is fun. This is very, very fun. But please give it a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. I will see y'all next time for episode eight. The last episode of season two. I hope they get another season, honestly. I'm praying that they get another season because this is great. This is great. This is fantastic. And I hope it... I hope it focuses on like another sibling because I know I mentioned um, I know I mentioned that like earlier in the season I'm like oh maybe every season will like um, focus on a different sibling and I think that I think that happens in the books too I remember somebody mentioning that so yeah we shall see hopefully it gets renewed because this is great Season two is definitely better than season one. I'm sorry. You can fight with your mama. I don't care. <laughs> I do not care. But anyways, peace out, y'all.